Where in Albuquerque can you find the worst roads? A nonprofit group says there are big issues all over the state, and fixing them all could get very expensive. Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain joins us live from one of the trouble spots in the metro along Central. Well, Shelly, the group says that Central has a sharing problem. There's a lack of flow between cars and buses that travel along this corridor, but this is far from the only issue that New Mexico drivers are facing. We strapped a GoPro to our news car to give you an up close look at what the National Transportation Research Group, TRIP, just announced as Albuquerque's biggest challenges on the roads. TRIP used data from the New Mexico Department of Transportation to come up with this list. First, they say we need a study to understand the amount of traffic that passes along Paseo del Norte. Yes, they're talking about the same area where Cruz just finished a $93 million interchange project. We're headed to another big trouble spot. The interchange of I-25 and Rio Bravo is expected to cost $37 million to fix the roadway and the congestion problems. If it's deteriorating, it has to get on the list, and that's our whole point, is that we need to, we need to help. We need to be part of the solution. The group says something also needs to be done about traffic along Central. They're proposing a combination of city bus lanes and car lanes so drivers can get through this high volume area a little quicker. And the group says rapid transit should be a priority, calling for a new transit center in Uptown. transportation problems. Seven jobs on average will be created, but this list is long and pricey, and right now the state doesn't have the money to complete all those projects. Live along Central, Laura Terrain, KOAT, Action 7 News. The group also found problems with roads throughout New Mexico, including the widening of I-25 in Bernalillo County, the development of a Santa Fe Transit Center, and making US-82 a two-lane highway in Eddy and Lee counties.